Um, and so maybe as I call your name, uh, you could you could stand up and just uh, say hello or wave. Uh, but Carl Staples, uh, our executive vice president, is here. Uh, Patricia Okanyi is uh, our CFO. Also, um, and next to her is uh, Ali Palmer, who is our in-house counsel. Um, Caitlin Banta. Caitlin, where are you? Um, you're right there, of course. And Caitlin is, uh, heads up our IT and marketing departments. And of course, Walter, we'll get to, you'll get to meet him in a moment. Um, so we, this is an important day for us, and, and we're glad. Um, and so maybe, as I call your name, uh, you, could, you could stand up and just uh, say hello or wave. Uh, but Carl Staples, uh, our executive vice president, is here. Uh, Patricia Okanyi is uh, our CFO. Also, um, and next to her is uh, Ali Palmer, who is our in-house counsel. Um, Caitlin Banta. Caitlin, where are you? Um, you're right there, of course. And Caitlin is, uh, heads up our IT and marketing departments. And of course, Walter, we'll get to, you'll get to meet him in a moment. Um, so we, this is an important day for us, and, and we're glad. I'd also like to introduce um, some family members here. So Brentwood, uh, as you probably know, is a family-owned company. Uh, we are 53 years old. Um, I am the second generation, so the company was not quite started, but almost by my parents. But I have with me today um, my sister, my only sibling, my sister. She's uh, not standing up, but waving. Uh, and uh, her husband, uh, Sev Sorensen, who's next to her. And uh, Sev works for a company, and he's in the uh, facilities department. Um, so, uh, and my wife, Lee, is uh, here as well. So that is in the ex entire extent of the second generation of um, our family. And the, uh, the, th the third generation is um, that of plastics, of processing plastics, of designing products to be produced in plastics. Um, and we do do other things, you know, uh, there are metal products and electronics and those sorts of things that uh, come along for the ride, so to speak, but, you know, our competency really is plastics. That's, that's the root of the company. Um, internationally, um, well, being an international company is not new to us. We've been uh, in Thailand for going on 20 years. We have a facility in the Czech Republic, a uh, relatively new one in uh, India, and now this is our newest facility here in Mexico. We're very excited to be here. We've made a considerable investment in this facility. As I was just telling Aaron, we're, um, we're here to uh, be successful, not to test the waters to see if it might work for us. We really want it. We know it can work for us if we do it right. If we make the right investment, I th hopefully we've impressed you with uh, what we've done so far, Aaron, uh, and hopefully we'll impress uh, you know, your the, the industry of the medical device manufacturing here in, in Tijuana and perhaps other parts of Mexico. So um, that's a little bit about um, uh, Brentwood. Um, again, we're very excited about the opportunities. We're also very excited about the, um, the uh, quality of Mexican employees and our, 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 our team here. Yes, we're um, um, partnered with Co-Productions, and Co-Productions is here as well, um, as a, a means of um, you know, facilitating this uh, venture for us. Uh, but we do think of them as our employees, at least from a personal standpoint. And, and we are, I have to say, very impressed with the, um, the expertise uh, and the, the character and integrity of these people. So thank you very much for joining what we feel is our team. I know it's uh, co-productions as well, but thank you really for, for joining. So anyway, I, I'm going to turn it over to Walter uh, to tell you a little bit more about um, our plans here. So thank you. Okay, thanks Peter. Good afternoon everybody. Uh, my name is Walter Banta. I am the Senior Director of Operations for Brentwood Specialty Products Group. 
I'm proud to stand before you today to mark the opening of our ninth manufacturing location worldwide, Brentwood, Mexico. The site, which we fondly refer to as TJ, has launched a more deeply engaged Baja California's significant medical and electronics industry. Our existing and potential customers have asked us time and time again for a higher level of service from their supply chain, both in terms of better components and faster. The only way we could satisfy this request I was establishing a dedicated manufacturing presence here in Tijuana. When we started planning in the summer of 2017, our industrial and process engineers went to work designing the facility and its internal processes. We combined three key elements, our organization's rich manufacturing history, a deep understanding of our customers' rigorous quality systems, and our own never-ending pursuit of operational excellence. Our U.S. and Mexican teams launched Brentwood's most advanced and most sustainable production environment to date. Elements first conceptualized here will be implemented around the world and will reach our manufacturing sites, setting the standard for future expansion. For us, this is a special facility and a special place. We needed a special team to take ownership and drive us forward. Who better to take on this challenge than TJ's finest engineers and manufacturing talent? Our plant manager, Mario, and his team of 15 called TJ Home. Their hard work and relentless drive are shining examples of the abundant talent this region has to offer. I continue to be amazed at their dedication and truly look forward to seeing where they take us from here. From a business perspective, our reception in TJ has been very warm. Projects are flowing in from current customers and our business development team is working with new potentials every single day. I'm pleased to share with you that we are growing faster than projected and will be adding new production lines to the facility in January of 2019, about a year ahead of schedule. Finally, I want to congratulate anybody, everyone that helped bring this site to production. The cross-functional and cross-cultural collaboration that led us here is an example of who we strive to be as an organization. For this, you have my sincere thanks. Because of you, our future in TJ and Mexico is bright. Thank you, everybody, for your time, and have a wonderful holiday season. Muy buenas tardes ya, ¿verdad? Tengan todos ustedes. Gracias por acompañarnos. Les vamos a cambiar español para cambiarle un poquito la dinámica. Eh, como bien dice Walter, esta colaboración ha sido un esfuerzo arduo de varios equipos, de varias gentes. Eh, es, es un privilegio estar aquí con ustedes nosotros también somos una empresa familiar Co-Production International ya tiene va a cumplir cerca de 40 años operando aquí en la región eh, con el privilegio de haber establecido cerca de 250 fábricas como estas y es, 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 este, es un honor por el, el ecosistema que se ha formado a través de estos 40, 50, casi 60 años que tenemos en Tijuana fabricando de todo, desde plásticos hasta componentes electrónicos, hasta aviones, hasta bueno, ustedes digan y, y lo hemos fabricado aquí en la región. Y la verdad, eh, el, la mano de obra que tenemos, el talento humano, el capital humano que tenemos aquí en la región es increíble, eh, o sea, no se compara con ningún otro del mundo, el ecosistema entre San Diego y Tijuana también es, es algo increíble. Me permite... Quiero presentar un poquito al equipo eh, que nos ha apoyado, el equipo de Co-Production. Nomás voy a pedir al equipo ejecutivo que se levante, por favor, porque sin ellos no estuviéramos aquí. Por favor, Carlos, Isis, Vero, José Luis. Y como también somos, somos un negocio familiar, mi socio y hermano Edgar Esparza se encuentra ahí atrás. Este parque nació hace siete años de un sueño de un grupo de gente de aquí de Tijuana y cuando recién iniciamos este proyecto estábamos montados en aquel cerro y vendimos el primer proyecto netamente con saliva como decimos porque no había nada más seis, siete años después estamos aquí estamos dándole la bienvenida a Brentwood gracias por tu confianza Peter, gracias Walter gracias a todos ustedes que han hecho este, este ejercicio un, un, un logro eh, estamos iniciando, apenas tenemos el año, no cumplimos el año, más o menos, one year, I think it's been a year, 
y ya quieren tumbar el otro edificio, quieren el otro espacio. <risa> Así que sobre eso vamos. Así que no me queda más que decirles lo mejor a todos ustedes. Gracias por su compromiso, gracias por su labor y el esfuerzo. Y, y sigamos trayendo, invirtiendo más en este futuro, en esta región, en esta, nuestra querida Tijuana. Con esto les cedo la palabra a nuestro secretario. Adelante, por favor. Bienvenidos. Um, reading from the mayor of Tijuana, Juan Manuel Gastelum Monroso. Thank you for the investment here in Tijuana. I always say that something happened in Tijuana that the people feel secure to invest. This year we have $1.4 billion of investment. If you join the, the investments in medical devices, San Diego, Tijuana, we are in one of the three global. We, are, we live right here in Amica region. San Diego and Tijuana, we share the air. We share the companies, the investment. I was remembered that a couple of months ago, I have a meeting with Mayor Faulkner of San Diego, Ed Banisha Singh. He's the first woman uh, subsecretary of economic of the US government over in Washington. And she asked me about that, what's happening in Tijuana? First of all, we have very good engineers. We need 6,000 engineers right here in Tijuana. Tomorrow, we're gonna put the first rock because uh, the city of Tijuana gives the land for a new institute of engineers. So we're taking care about that. And when I came to this kind of, uh, when I see this kind of investment, and I feel that we are in the right track Right now, companies who build televisions are looking for the medical devices, like Foscon, and, uh, and the other industry are looking about the medical devices. Something, something good happened with those, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, Brentwood is gonna grow a lot here in Tijuana. Para la gente de Tijuana que nos acompaña el día de hoy, decirles, Para mí es un orgullo estar el día de hoy inaugurando esta planta, una planta con una inversión eh, de 5 millones de dólares. Is that the investment? 5 million dollars? It's going to be 5. Como dijo Chicharito, hay que pensar en grande. Y estar aquí con ustedes y ver que la gente tiene confianza de invertir. Y lo que les acabo de compartir de que vivimos en una mega región donde las cosas que pasan en Tijuana no suceden en otra parte de la República, donde traemos una inversión de 1.4 billones de dólares en la área industrial, 120 millones este año en el sector hotelero. We have an investment of 120 million dollars only in hotels here in Tijuana. cosas buenas están pasando. Tenemos que seguir apoyando este tipo de desarrollos, desarrollos que lo, lo podemos corroborar el día de hoy de una forma ordenada, que acercan sus servicios de una forma ordenada y segura, cosa que agradecemos al, al complejo industrial. Reciban mis saludos y mis felicitaciones por lo mismo. No me resta más que decirles que en nombre del alcalde Juan Manuel Gastelus estén ustedes, eh, sean ustedes bienvenidos a esta ciudad de Tijuana y que seguramente invertirán más de 3 millones. You will invest more than 3 millones. I'm pretty sure about that. Muchas gracias por la confianza a la ciudad y que Dios los bendiga a todos. Gracias.
Thank you. 